To help us sort through some of these important topics is Israel Green, our guest speaker, an expert in the field of diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging strategy. Israel Green is a professional international keynote speaker, a certified diversity executive and leadership trainer and coach. Please help me give a warm welcome to Israel Green. Why address diversity in business and in healthcare? Companies that have adopted a full DEI strategy achieve three times the revenue growth compared to less inclusive organizations. Companies that effectively demonstrate an inclusive culture are 18% more effective at creating a positive employee experience. Bottom line is that the DEI initiatives when done and done correctly are great for business. There is no question about it, whether it be from dealing with complex issues to innovation, to work performance, to talent management. These numbers do not lie. You can really tell he's a very charismatic, experienced speaker just by the way he started off his keynote, capturing everyone's attention and his sense of humor. 58% of people say they trust strangers more than their own boss. Think about this statistic for a moment. So if you are a boss in the room, I won't finish that. <laughs> One of the things that my organization has been applauded in doing is taking the complex and making it simple. And if we were to get very deep here, we'd be talking about all of the components of what it means to implement a full-blown DEI strategy. But what I want to do here is just keep this very basic because I want each of you to be able to walk out of here with one degree of change and commit to one action out of the three things I'm going to share with you today. The key, I think he was trying to impress upon us, was that we need to have these conversations. We need to have these tough conversations so we can grow, so we can improve. Reflect upon yourself. So you can't just ask others to reflect, you have to reflect on yourself. So the question I want you to think about is if you don't have diversity in your own personal space, how well would you be able to manage it in your professional space? How are you able to provide culturally competent care if you know nothing about the individuals with whom you're serving. We have to be open to talking about these issues and I think sometimes we're afraid to do that because we're fearful we'll hurt somebody's feelings. Maybe we all have to be more open to this. So I think that was maybe eye-opening for many people in the audience. When we talk about the definition of leadership, simply put, leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. And every person in this room whether your title is doctor, CEO, audiologist, whatever it is, you have the ability and more importantly, the responsibility to rise up and be the standard. Take that first step to connect with someone that you don't know very well. Rise up and take action with someone that's different than you. Rise up and connect with them on a personal level. Go beyond the head and go to the heart. So as you leave here today, I hope that you are inspired to make a change.